Hello everybody, I wanted to do another quick uh, video on leopard wrasses again because the uh, topic keeps coming up. So, I am going to talk about my leopards. There's one here, I have three blue stars, a Melodris, and a uh, Moyers. So, there's two of them there. And then there's a little one right there. Um, and of course I got them at different times. So a couple of things I want to talk, touch on today is, um, again, I cannot stress enough. I would never recommend buying any leopard wrasse online. It's always better to buy them at your fish store if possible. Leave them there for a good week or two. Make sure they're eating what you intend to feed at home. Because once you get them home, it is extremely difficult to get them switched over to our prepared foods. Um, you know, if you're not, uh, you know, if they're not going to eat for you in the store, chances are 90% of the time when you get them home, they're not going to eat. There's my big melagris back there. There's the Moyers. Um, so... And they like seaweed like all the, the rest of my fish do. So it's kind of odd. But anyway, so the, a couple of the big things, just make sure they're eating at the store. Let them, let them settle down and get, you know, get kind of rusted up from being transported, you know, thousands of miles from the ocean to the fish or to the wholesaler to the fish store. And get them eating. Um, I feed mine mice shrimp. They like it. Um, there's, free, there's LRS Free Frenzy, which is really good too. But some of the definitely um, you want to make sure and uh, get them eating as soon as possible. As soon as you get them home, um, like I've touched on before, uh, you, you definitely need to have a couple inches of sand in the bottom of your tank. Bare bottom tanks do not work with leopard wrasses or any sand bearing wrasses, in my opinion. Um, let's see, another another one of my thoughts was you want to you know. Uh, when you get them home, it's not uncommon after you, I always drip acclimate them for 60 minutes. You want to make sure and check the salinity at your local fish store. Um, I only buy fish uh, out of their coral tanks, which is a 2.5 salinity and it matches mine, but I still drip them about 45 minutes to an hour. Once they get in the tank, they usually uh, hit the sand. They swim around, usually explore a little bit. I've had them hit the sand for a couple days to a week or two, depending on the fish. As soon as they come out, you want to make sure and get them eaten right away. That's definitely the most important. But don't bother them while they're buried in the sand. Um, if they're going to make it, they're going to come out. So um, don't go digging for them or anything. So that is basically it for that um, today. So I'm going to go ahead and end on that note. If anybody has any questions or if you like my video or my, my channel, please subscribe or share with any, any other fellow reefers. Happy reefing and thanks for watching.